That 73 team included Phil Jackson, and it beat a Lakers squad in the finals that included Pat Riley. That's next, as Showtime continues. And he spent most of his 13-year playing career as a member of the Knicks, a big contributor off the bench when the Knicks won their last NBA title 20 seasons ago. The leading scorer and best player on that 73 team was Walt Frazier. Clyde now does a very flamboyant brand of color commentary on the Knicks broadcast. That Nick team set a very high standard for intelligent and unselfish play. A starting five of Reed, Bradley, DeBusher, Frazier, and Monroe. Jerry Lucas on the roster as well. All of them, plus the coach, Red Holzman, are in the Hall of Fame. The only single season team that can make that claim in the history of the NBA. Peter Bessie looks back at a fabled squad. The early 70s was Knickerbocker basketball. After winning the NBA championship in 1970, a veteran Knicks team recaptured the title three years later. I, I think in 1970 was a storybook year and all the drama and so on. There wasn't quite the drama in 73, uh, nor the excitement, but there was more satisfaction, at least personally, to me. We didn't have a star. We had a five-pointed star, and that's really what it was all about. Cross caught Bradley drives the baseline, layup, go! It's been said that we were the most intelligent team ever assembled because individually we weren't that talented or overwhelming, but uh, as a team, it was ordinary people that became extraordinary. Understated coach Red Holzman brought a cerebral approach to both offense and defense. I thought Red was the best manager of people, manager of mood, yet still had a sense of how to maintain control and a degree of, uh, of uh, respect that the players have to have for a coach. We spent most of our time playing defense, and uh, he wanted us to play defense. He insisted that we play defense a certain way, and in terms of us, what we did on offense, he wasn't that concerned. We were a very, very good defensive team. We weren't a big, big team, but we had a lot of good, intelligent players, and we had added two great players, and, uh, Jerry Lucas and Earl Monroe. New York would need Monroe and Lucas as they faced the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals, winning game seven at the Boston Garden by a decisive margin. New York, a tremendous defensive exhibition today, and uh, that's the ball game. Beating Boston proved more difficult than the NBA Finals as the Knicks stormed past the Lakers of Chamberlain and West in five games. That's the story of the New York Knicks and the defeat of the Los Angeles Lakers. And they race off the court here at the Forum in Los Angeles with the 1973 World Championship. It made us feel that we, we belonged, we had cut our niche in history, and I think we proved uh, that this team will go down as one of the better teams to play in a long time. We are the New York Knicks! We are the New York Knicks! Say, go New York, go New York, go! Say, go New York, go New York, go! 20 years later, the 93 Knicks, though clearly a different breed of character, have won the praises of the last regime to win in New York. This team is exceptionally deep, and it appears that, you know, you're getting the right coming together of personality and talent at the right moment in a season. They have the personality somewhat like we had in 73. Nobody is looking to dominate statistically. They're all looking to do their job. Riley has them working together as a fine-tuned unit as we were in 73. Like Red Holzman, Pat Riley recognizes you win with defense. He's brought back that championship feeling, and it's engulfed New York. What I think he brought here was uh, an ambiance, a persona that he's a winner, and the players embrace that. In many ways, he, to me, he's like Red Hoseman, uh, unflappable, but he's been very adaptable. You can just walk down the street and people are asking you a question, are they going to go? Are they going to go all the way? Uh, uh, what do you think? What's the chances? Uh, that the, I have never uh, experienced that uh, since uh, the early 70s. Uh, I just enjoy being around it. I love basketball and uh, I love to see the Knicks do what they're doing and uh, I think it's great to see the garden jumping.